G'day, today we're going to revisit Manila. Now, I already have an insane uh, best score on this one, which is still the best score I've got on any level. Uh, but I want to have a look at it again to see if we can improve on that at all. Firstly, let's waste a bridge and get straight over to this guy. Let's speed things up. So I don't know if there's something just about the way that this level designs itself that does allow it to have that sort of bigger score. Um, I feel that say Rio de Janeiro and, and this one might be the only two where I've really sort of had a feeling that you can just go big uh, in those scores. So definitely I want to revisit uh, Rio again at some point to see if I can uh, improve on that score. But um, yeah, today we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do with this one. So I, I did feel that the first time I played this, I still hadn't really found my, my complete style. Um, and there's definitely a lot of things I've learned since. Um, so it will be interesting to see how, how this goes. Now we are going to attempt to separate everyone out. Probably scooch him in like that. I'll definitely take a bridge at this point since we're already hopping over the river a couple of times. Try and make our routes as direct as possible. And so far this has all been quite nice grouping. The houses are all about the same distance apart from, from each of the factories or destinations I guess that they're going to. The names of the circular buildings are skyscrapers, we know that. I don't know what the names of these ones are according to the game. Um, but I mean, my logic would be that a step down from skyscraper would just be building. To refer to them as building sounds very vague, and um, I feel like a skyscraper would be a building as well, so it doesn't really make it a, a clear name. But I mean, if you look at these shadows, though, these guys look pretty big. It must be something tall. But now I'll just call them destinations. Okay. Luckily, he's not too far. These guys are definitely going to cause us uh, more problems than than our single ones. Now, one thing I've found one thing I've found with these is that uh, the way that it will operate is that when a car comes in this way, they will swing in and, and park facing down. They'll they'll come up this uh, right hand side and then park in. If they come in this way, they come in and park left. So. My thought is that if you actually have the ability, you probably want all of your houses connecting to it in the same way, so that when they get into the car park, they're all swinging this way. When we've got cars coming in this way, they're going to come in here, and they're going to get blocked behind. I don't know. Could be wrong, but, but to me it seems like um, if that traffic was all flowing in the one way. Now, if this building ends up being yellow, then there's no question I'm connecting these two guys. It's <laughs> definitely a very handy placement if that's the case. Okay, again, that's quite a generous positioning. Probably only these two guys are the only weird outsiders uh, to a system at the moment. I'm going to chuck him straight in. Put him there. Just because he's a skyscraper. Um, I'll give him the luxury of, of enjoying a roundabout this early on. There's no point in just sitting in there holding onto it. At worst, it's just going to block out a bit of space around this guy to, to keep them clear. Um, at best, it'll make his movements a bit smoother. We'll keep an eye on this too. We can always shift this guy here down to connect to um, this destination. Okay. Now we'll just pause for a second. Do I have a bridge? I do. So let's get these guys to swing around the top. Definitely the longest uh, route that I've got at the moment, but still not that long.
and having this third house over here for this guy I think is, is certainly worthwhile. Not too big a fan of the way that he's he's having a route around there. Well, we might just cut him off for now. No, set them up like that. I'd say he's close enough that he only needs. Oh, there we go. Take another bridge. Let those two guys go that way. We get two slightly closer houses to him as well. We do have a bridge, so we could just sort of swing him up and connect him here, but I don't really think he's uh, he's needed. Okay. Now I might claim back there uh, roundabout. Let's just make them join like that. Uh, because I think that these guys here are going to need it a little bit more. Certainly looking a little bit clunky in their layout. And because that is a, um, a skyscraper, we may as well try and clean them up a bit too. Yeah, so far this is a very clean little city that we've got here. Again, there's a very generous positioning that they've given us on this guy. It does seem like the, the biggest problem we're going to have here is congestion, uh, as opposed to sort of journeying to a um, factory. We'll take the mode away, I think. Take the mode away. Now, I mean, these are pretty close. This is... But this guy's... I'd say these guys are almost as close as these guys are, whereas these guys are significantly closer to this warehouse. So we'll connect those two that way. Do a bridge, but I'm going to have to wait for that bridge to disappear before they'll let me use it. Right across there. Okay. Let's wait for this car to leave. That's a nice tiny little connection these two guys have got. Alright, it's probably our first real um, suboptimal positioning, I suppose. What we'll do is we'll Trying to get these guys facing the direction that they're flowing in. And we'll have to try and keep it. Um, keep remembering to double check to see if we do get any red populations that are closer than that. Just traveling across the map isn't. Uh, for long-term sustainability, especially if I want to beat like a, a 5,300 score. Um, traveling that far isn't going to be long-term sustainable, I'd imagine. Alright, we'll give this back to these guys. Just again because of the any other skyscraper on the map. So I mean anyone else could become skyscraper. Um, but we know for a fact he is a skyscraper. So we'll we'll just let him have it. Yeah, this four placements are starting to become a little bit more common. Not poor, but just Less generous, I suppose. We get a motorway. I uh, will connect these guys down to here. We might actually connect these pretty 
these four here. Now since they've got the most awkward route down. What are we going to do with this guy? He's currently a mile from everything. Are we on Sunday morning? Alright, let's just wait till Sunday night to see if they are. Give us anything we can work with? No, okay. So, painfully to get to this guy, I think what we're going to have to do is have Dark Blue run across Blue's um, route, which is annoying because um, that's already the only road that currently exists for two different um, highways. So two different... Uh, let's do that instead. Ah, there we go. Complained loud enough and they heard us. So hopefully this guy gets a friend and then we'll just shift the uh, the work over to him. Great positioning there, because uh, there's nothing that we can do to get him clear of these yellows. Unless we've got yellow to cut across the front of this guy, which we will, because there's two, as it stands, they're both um, uh, not skyscrapers at this point. It's a waste of a bridge, but. Uh, we'll take it for now. Okay, now that goes a skyscraper, we could uh, get in trouble. Okay, do I have a bridge left? I don't. So... What we want to do is get a bridge back, which will have to be this one. Now to claim that back, what we'll do is send these two guys this way and turn these two guys around. Send them up there. That'll give us one bridge. Gotta wait for this guy to finish his drive, slowly killing my route to <laughs> these houses. Okay, there we go. So now swing him around. Connect them. And then if we really want, we can also connect him that way. And that means that we can redo this road again. Send him back around. Okay. Now this part here is for these four houses to connect to him. But what we can do is we can rip all that up. We can send this guy there and this guy here. Actually make him connect that way. Uh, and then we can give these four guys the job of heading north. So that bridge removes. Waiting, waiting. Okay, and then what we'll 
do is we'll make these two guys run along here. And then we can cut all of that. We've got this guy down here so we can cut that bridge and cut that. Beautiful. So that's three houses will make this guy survivable. I'll wait for these two guys to finish their trip, but hopefully they don't take too long because you can see this is just going to slowly build until this guy gets all the way off this bridge. So we'll definitely take another bridge because we have been uh, using them plenty. Okay, there goes the bridge. Okay, so we can make them up there. You can see that already he's uh, not happy about having to wait. Hopefully he's close enough that um, he can survive on that one house for a little while. Cool. He doesn't have to anymore. That's a nice little get as well. It would be nice to get um, another car or two here. I mean, I could swing this guy down to join into this as well. Again, they land a really weird spot. Okay. So, we've got four houses looking after him. We've got all the houses in the world looking after these guys. He hits the top. So I could send red cars all the way around the top. That's a very long drive. But I mean, suppose we've got 36. Let's have a look to see how doable that is. Sorry, buddy. You keep doing what you're doing. Okay. Well, swing them down here. Take that off them. I don't really have a clear group of guys that should be taking over this role. Um, maybe let's make it these two guys. That the other two can just hold on to having three each. Bridge again. This red here's duties are starting to amp up a little bit. So let's pause and see if we can get this guy to swing all the way around and up here. So we'll take one house, two houses, three. Actually, no, we'll take three there. Uh, that leaves one, two, three for him. One, two, three for him. So it's not, not great. Um, got these two red houses here. But I could connect to him. Think about how we can restructure this. So we've got a bridge. Okay. Three houses there is quite nice for him. Let's send this guy up and through. Actually, let's offset him to where he's going to connect because hopefully that'll let the traffic around him flow smoother. Um, give these two guys a bridge that goes a bit more direct. Hopefully if they're a little bit more direct, maybe it'll mean he can have less demand on him. Then get rid of that bridge 
there. That sort of up the stakes a bit for what I was about to attempt. Um, Alright, with this third guy coming down here, we'll shift him back to those duties. Let these red guys go around. Let's um, chuck a roundabout in here. I do need to get someone else to to help out with this guy. Now why is this road here connected? I think that I'm gonna have to change my uh, my play again. And what we can do is shift this guy here. Oh that's right, that's why that's connected, so he could get through. Wow, I already forgot that. Okay. Now that means that currently this won't be used. And he is on his own back to being looked after by these guys. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three for him. One, two, three, four for him. Now the thing is though that these guys... Let me get rid of that one. These guys could be swinging around to try and help here and we don't really want that. Uh, do I have a bridge? I don't. I'm about to get a bridge. Okay. So we'll see if these two guys here can help out this. Potentially I could build a connection between these two roundabouts to see if that helps them out. The only problem will be if these two guys think that they need to move through here to get up to that guy, which we don't want. Right, let's get a few more yellow guys on this red road. Did have another plan. I don't remember what it was. Uh, something about a red guy. This guy here. Oh, there's two red guys there. Cool. So what we can do is shift these guys down river and have them connect in there too. Which I would say means we don't need these two guys connected anymore. Draw a road there because I don't want any more cars appearing in that section. We need more cars, any more roads, rather. Okay, so this guy has now gone. Um, I have to wait for that bridge to come back. This guy's gone. Skyscraper, so we want to try and sneak these three guys through. Okay, so if we turn him around. We can flip these guys back around. He's still only running off two guys. Now got... Let's give him to that, because this guy's now got four of his own. Five of his own. Oh, when did you show up? Okay. So, firstly, let's just get red off his path. And let's see what we can do to get green quickly addressing him. So we'll quickly send these four guys onto that road, onto this road, that road. At least made quick work of it. Now hopefully because it's just red square, yellow square, green square down there, there's, they can sort of share the road at least for now. But what we could do... How much road have I got? 35. I'll try building a road that swings around this way. Next in there. What that means is that the green and the yellows only have to share this portion of road here rather than the, the whole thing. It's just. Yeah, also being very stingy on my head with uh, 
with my motorways in this one. <laughs> now red needs some help. This guy being here is going to give some assistance. This guy here. These guys are just having to travel so far. So let's give them back the guy who's apparently sitting at home and is already in the in the action uh, with his two cars. Now the fact that his two cars are already going suggests that I should consider having more in there. We'll shift this guy off that so that he's uh, not impeding the guys connecting through. Red is definitely the uh, the problem child at the moment though. Particularly this guy. Let's send this guy back onto there and we'll give this guy across. Does leave us with only three connecting here. Alright, I'm motorway. I don't want to, but I feel like maybe a red motorway to here could help. But he's sort of back under control a little bit too. Maybe um maybe the help could be that we send these guys to here. I get her. Um, through, unfortunately. Yes, that house is a girl. Um, now, the other thing that we need to try and figure out is can we get any yellow houses down here? Because she, uh, this, this guy's not looking too great either. Try and run these guys through. Not really a gap. These guys I could cut across that, but I mean that's a that's a pretty key guy there. But I want to sink on a yellow. These two are definitely going to play backup, so that so hopefully they shouldn't be crossing too often. You can certainly see they need it. Or even if it's just to take out a few, a few quick uh, ones right now. Definitely going to be worthwhile. Okay, now this red guy here is still, still not handling uh, his load too well. Now we're starting to get our motorways. Now what we can do... So let's disconnect these guys. Let's just send these two guys straight up here. let them help out. They've got a much shorter journey. Um, potentially it can slow the, the amount of traffic having to go on motorway one uh, because those four guys might be able to really clean this up a bit. And that again can just be a temporary um, fix. We can use that motorway four uh, for anything else that seems a bit more pressing that comes up. Red's still the the one I'm not completely confident about. Um, hmm. So let's take let's just make these guys' life a little bit easier. And we'll clear all that. Because these three guys are coming across to do that too. Think about our routes. I've 
got five houses covering this guy, so we could send these guys instead to him. And then send the highway to, to over here. I can't really cut off these three guys here. So I've still got a motorway. What I could do is turn these. If these guys were the main, well, they were the main supply, but now we've got this guy to, to look after them. Um, and what I can do is now I've got rid of that motorway. I can get this guy to just come in and, and help if, uh, if they need it. And then with our red, him across there and we can get rid of all of that and we can consider what we need these five guys here for and he should be all right his cylinder down there. He doesn't seem to have too much of a, a demand on him. This guy here. I suppose we can leave him facing facing north. That guy there I don't want connected because I don't want him slowing down this intersection traffic. It goes for, for this guy here too, but they're doing all right. Now I will connect these two guys here uh, just because they can connect down to this as well just in case he needs a little bit more assistance this guy's starting to look a little bit worse for wear we do have a bridge let's connect these three guys run them around the top yeah we'll definitely take our motorways Now, I've certainly caused a little bit of a gridlock at this guy at the moment. But once that, like, obviously just released three extra houses onto his um, his route. So hopefully once that clears out, uh, it'll quieten him down a bit and, and he'll be a bit better off. Get him off that roundabout. Still holding on to that motorway. There's no one really standing out as a as a problem at the moment. The other guy's a little bit shaky. I mean, what we could do with him? Turn these guys around. Then a set of four. And that hit highway six to here. It's gonna let me draw a road there if I'm there we go. Now I will remove highway three momentarily. Well not momentarily, like in a moment. Supposed to not for a moment. And what we'll do is we'll let these guys flick around the other side. We'll get rid of that. We'll move him that way. And then we'll hope that we can do something to connect this blue guy here. Doesn't look like we can. That's alright, he's handling that alright. Uh, nothing we can do for that guy there, but he should now have a lot more houses looking after him. And again, we should have some sudden congestion that hopefully will clear up in a moment once those guys sort out their absolute mess. Yellows still aren't looking too great moving in and out of that that there, but obviously that freeway was still in the way. It's only just removed, so hopefully that um that cleans it up. Now this guy down here is is looking a little problematic for me. 
Um, I think he might need a few more houses. You can certainly hear the sound of the speed picking up for us. Let's have a look. Now as it stands, like I said, I think this is a luxury highway, that one. So let's get rid of that. Um, and let's put these three guys together. That yellow house just sort of sprung up in there, didn't he? The thing is, I can't get him off that, that route, but... Right, so the same as the other ones, let's just suddenly hit him with a, a quick flurry. It's not the fastest flurry I've ever seen, but a, a quick hit of six extra cars in there to try and clean him up. Again, like red, this isn't a um, budget one, although I must have miscounted. I do have an extra highway, so let's reconnect these guys. for wear, but there we go, that red's recovered again. Well, this guy here, I realise I should probably could be worth connecting. And we'll connect his the red body next to him as well. That red guy actually was doing some work on the on the bottom down here. He was visiting this guy a bit. Hmm. Now these ones down the bottom, as long as they're still squares, I don't really seem to be a problem. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this road finally. And then treat these guys to a motorway so they don't have to keep crossing over yellow. And then I'll let yellow have a bit more of a direct route. So that'll hopefully help both colours. Turn him around so he can connect straight to this guy. We just want to make sure we can have an eye on this guy to make sure we can make sure he's okay. So currently he only has four houses, so we'll give him a fifth. Because this guy already had five, and his houses are a little bit closer than this guy's. Those yellow jobs are coming in thick and fast at the moment, but... Motorway. away. Okay. Now... Firstly, we can connect him in to, to help out. This guy's starting to struggle. So, we've given an extra house to these guys on that side, so maybe let's give this guy these guys. We can't join him. We could always send this guy over too if we need him. they holding? Yeah, we might. No, this guy's not looking too great either, though. Now, we've got a ton of houses down here that probably can... Um, put that down. We can probably at least loan a few of these to help cover up there. So what we'll do is we'll take these guys. Put them Highway 8. Connect it up there. Let's get again a sudden surge of six cars to help. This guy's actually not doing anything at the moment, so let's give him over to them as well. Just to, I mean, yeah, like I said, it's going to create a sudden surge of congestion, but yeah, it is nice to sort of 
like it's, it's going to hold him out a little bit longer. It's just if the cars are there waiting. They just need to be able to get through the intersection to, um, to do the delivery. Long term, it's not good, but short term, I think it's an okay, um, okay approach. Again, it sort of sounds like the sound just amped up again, so we might be uh, going even faster. He's still struggling a bit, this guy. I can see we've got all cars out. Now, there are some cars that are sitting at home, so hopefully it is just a sort of the movement to get him back on track. It would be nice to get these guys connected on here, but obviously it's um, sort of st stranded. And this, again, still seems to be okay. Okay, what can we do with this guy? We need someone to, to go help him out. Um, now, I was going to pull this, this road here, but obviously they need it too. Um, these guys here probably don't need it too urgently, so let's make a, a dip out that way. And let's... Disconnect these guys for a moment, and we'll drag that to there and this to here. As soon as these guys stop using that, we'll see if we can get a quick surge over there to, to help out. We certainly do need it. You can see he's uh he's the worst off at the moment. Cool, there's a motorway back. So we can rebuild this if we if it is what we need. These guys do seem to be escalating pretty quick, so let's give that now. The significance there is that's Highway 9, so that's our last highway. I think at this point there's really not too much more we can do than just sort of put out spot fires and just see how high we can let our score tick. Now these guys here are still looking at a mess of congestion. Um, this red here. I mean, we've got red spot fires all over, so these guys are stuck in making a tough choice between which one they go to. Um, connect him. Oh, he's going to cause more problems, although I've already got problems. Um... I don't think there's too much I can do. It's more of these guys coming out of here that are, that are swinging all the way up. That's where this is a real problem. We need to address this. Let's just move him one out that way. For a moment. Wait for that to disappear before I can actually cement him. This is a dangerous move, but you can see that Eventually the efficiency of them doing it is, is going to clean him up a bit. So in that same mindset I'm going to delete that connection there to hope that the efficiency of, of telling these guys to go to the closer one, not the one that's currently screaming, um, be our model for efficiency. Now reds all over the place aren't happy with me. Okay, well, that's not too stoked either, so let's um, put him back there. Now I've got a red house. Oh. Got a red house that's sitting at the back there that's not doing anything. Can't really connect him to anything, but it does seem like I want red all hands on deck at the moment. Let's um shift these that guy that way. And let's join this guy under this road. A bit of congestion on this point here. Yellow and red having to go past each other isn't great. Um, I've potentially caused my own problem there, knocking off this, um, this neighborhood. But I'd say we're about to see the end up there. Um, let's maybe shift this guy over. There's no one in those houses, so I mean, they're not. I think everyone who lives in a red house is currently out of. Uh, 
home at the moment. Build this guy straight up and across. There's a, I, think he, I don't think he's going to have time to get there. We'll chuck it. Oh, it's not going to cross. The one time I try and use a set of lights and there are. Uh, it's not even going to let me do it. Well, those two guys might just make it in there to, to extend him out a, a tiny little bit. Um, again, this is this is my own doing down here. So let's um, connect the three of these guys and send them that way, and then have these guys connect down. I mean, it's it's probably too little, too late at this point. Holding on to anything to to get this guy to survive. Or... Nah, there we go. 9,200, not too bad. And just, I guess, for those who are curious, uh, this is where that puts me on the, the leaderboards. 424, not too bad on that one. Uh, there we go. Uh, probably a long one there, but uh, thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, feel free to check them below. Until next time, I'll catch you later. See ya.